Oh my god, see guys, I am reacting. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before you continue watching, please don't forget to click the like button to support your girl so I can reach a wider audience, you know. Anyways, you guys must have seen my Japa video by now and if you've not seen it, uh -uh, where are you? Like, I'm going to leave the link in the description box below so make sure to check my Japa videos, okay? yeah anyway so for people that have seen my japa video you must have seen my eyebrows as well so before i left you know i decided to take a bold step to get my eyebrows microbladed i've been seeing it everywhere and before the cost of microblading was a lot so on my timeline i just saw this beautician she popped on my timeline you know as per usual sponsored post and i saw that she was doing a discount and i contacted her it took me days before i paid you know i had to make up my mind do i want to do this do i not want to do this i finally made up my mind i finally and I decided to pull to uh to pay most especially because the cost of microblading in the uk almost a choke die and especially because of the aftercare as well so you know i was a bit scared and skeptical and stuff but finally finally i made up my mind i paid and i went to do my microblading like after i think two weeks or three weeks after i also did um combination brows by the way nothing will prepare you for the kind of pain and aftercare so you have to be mentally prepared like mentally ready i watched tons of videos on microblading the aftercare but everyone's healing process is different okay especially if your pain threshold is very low like mine anyways they numbed my brows for 45 minutes she mapped up the brows um you know i allowed her to do her thing and i was also, also doing my silent crying and a bit of oh ah ouch painful <laughs> they numbed the brows a couple of times but guys it was still painful for me it was was it worth it you guys should find out you know at the end of the video you know if it was worth it or not and stuff but anyways i'm gonna allow you guys to enjoy i also showed you guys you know how to care for your eyebrows after how to wash i mean to wash your face with microblading and stuff but anyways please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe and all the good stuff you know support your girl and i will see you guys later bye guys
the camera. <laughs> Hi. So she was the one that did my brows. So introduce yourself. Good afternoon, guys. So my name is Aniki Beauty Palace. So we do bra we do our uh, extension lashes, micro bedding brows, nails, and pedicure. So we also train, and our service is just the best. Good bra and good lash and good nails only. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, how much do you charge for brows? So micro bedding is forty five thousand. Then ombre and combo is fifty thousand. Hmm. What about lashes? Extension lashes. The classic is ten thousand. Then hybrid is fifteen. Volume is twenty. Mega volume twenty five thousand. Okay. All right. So and you're located at um twenty one Shaga Road, Surulere, Lagos State. Okay. Right. Thank you so much, ma. <laughs> hey babe so i am back home now and this is what my brows are looking like currently um so i did get an aftercare um so i got this um and also spoolie and this is a um, muscle called vitamin a and vitamin d or, or ointment and stuff so i'm supposed to use this like twice or three times a day um and water is not supposed to touch my brows for three days and she, she just literally told me that aftercare and everything i'm supposed to expect so yeah um i will be giving you guys updates you know as things goes by and um you know when everything like when i see differences i will come back to give you guys an update for sure and guys it did hurt it did hurt i will say my threshold i don't like pain so um i would rate it from from zero to ten i'll definitely say the, the it was it was about like six seven not something i could not endure but at the same time it, like i felt the pain especially when the numbing uh, wore off which only lasted like for like what 10 minutes but i really love the lady she's so good at what she does i mean i've seen other people's brows that i did not like it but obviously this is quite dark now and i know that it's going to get better so yeah of course i'll be giving guys updates and everything to know how it goes and when it's pro properly healed so yeah i'll talk to you guys later okay hi guys welcome back to the vlog so this is day three of my micro braiding guys oh my god see guys i am reacting my eyelids are swollen this bit is puffy and this bit as well is very puffy so this bit here um i think when some liquid were coming off it just got stuck here but it's it's hard it's hard and yes I was afraid I was losing my brows but she told me I messaged her last night and she told me that it's nothing to worry about that you know it's just the processing but I just don't like how this bit is puffy guys no one will ever prepare you for this thing like guys I will tell you I have watched videos I have watched videos not like I have not watched videos I watched videos but I was just like nah it might not be that bad but guys when they're using the the blade thing to make strokes it's not i don't feel the pain as much as when they're shading the shading is the the most painful um but it was for me i would say it was bearable it was bearable there was a bit of ooh ah it's painful ooh mm. like i was literally clenching my hands and stuff but she put on cream again and then yeah but yeah it was painful but it's bearable but i feel like the aftercare is the worst because what is this i don't i don't like how i'm feeling like why why are they so long i don't like it like i'm reacting to it so hopefully it goes down quickly i'll be back on maybe day five or yeah i don't want to do like every day so guys this is day five of my eyebrows you guys can see that the eye is a bit it's like less swollen this bit was very puffy yesterday it's less puffy now it's day five i don't know why it's not scabbing yet like it's it's quite hard though it is quite hard and stuff so yeah guys ignore my hair um but today is day six and this is what we're looking like you guys can see that over here i don't know why it doesn't want to focus on me uh yeah here you guys can see that it's already scabbing and um i think some parts at the top here now this side um this one right here um is about to fall off but i'm just so scared that it doesn't come off of my hair because my hair is actually here as well um i think some parts of the top here as well is already scabbing hopefully it doesn't scab too i'm done what i need to do tomorrow so that way i don't look really 
rubbish but yeah so i'm also going to show you guys how i actually wash my face because today's day six and i've not washed my face yet so i mean i've not washed my eyebrows i've washed my face of course so hi guys so today's day eight and here um this part has practically gone off from me this part is here and um this part is coming off this part is trying to come off this part is very very hard and this part is trying to fall off as well the scabs are trying to come off um it was only yesterday that i allowed water to touch and i didn't pour water directly so what i did was i put uh, a cotton um no not cotton pad a um, muscle cord the cotton swabs is that thing that's what it's called um, I put it in water then I used it to clean and that's because I went out yesterday and there was a lot of dust on the way so I figured it would be dusty and then I just used it to clean what I also did um, as well I put the ointment and stuff which I showed you guys the vitamin A and D I put the ointment on it and stuff yesterday just because of the dust and everything just to, um, to kill any infection but hi guys so um, today's day day eight um trying to, i'm in the bathroom I'm trying to use my ring light but um i don't know if you guys can see this part is coming off and there's some parts that wants to come off here as well um so it's everything's looking a bit scary now but it's still very much dark and and um yeah so but i said on day no today's day nine sorry i said on day eight that i was going to show you guys how i wash my face but i couldn't get to do that so i just showered i just finished showering now um so i'm going to show you guys how i wash my face but i use um cerave um foaming cleanser to wash my face i don't know how loud you guys can hear me because the generator is on right now too so so basically i just you know pour water on my face just lightly so for my forehead i like to go in with this towel so i wet it first um i go in with wetting the towel first and then i put the cleanser on the towel like so and then i try to make it for me and stuff and then this is what i used to like wash my forehead and my eye area as well i like washing my face with my uh, muscle cord my eye area with um the normal way i wash my face just because like i feel like you know i might get water on my eyebrows and i'm trying to like not do that so i just wash my face like so to scrub my face and stuff and then I go in as well so then I wash the towel um, to get rid of the excess soap on there today's day nine I can technically wash my face now but I'm just trying to be really careful um, so I'm trying to let like some of the scarves come out first before I start washing my face so now I go in with a clean, um, with a rinsed towel and just, you know, use it to like clean up my face and stuff. And then the part I used the towel to scrub. So that's basically how I wash my face. And um, the whole process of this like was not scary. Like it's not even scary. The part of it that was really scary was when like my eye was swollen, which you guys saw. That was what discouraged me and I was like, you know what, I don't think I'm going to do this again. Um, yeah, because it was quite scary. Like, why am I reacting to it? So anyways, I go in the second time again um, just to make sure because my forehead is a part that I can't really wash the way I would wash my face. So I like to go in the second time. Um, you guys can see that is a bit for me. I don't know you guys can see, but anyways, yeah, I like to go in the second time just to make sure that my forehead is properly clean since i cannot um technically wash it the way i i would like to wash it and stuff so yeah
um that's basically how i wash my face i don't know if i'll be back until i see until i see a significant difference again on my face my or well, my eyebrows and stuff um because i feel like i've been doing my eyebrows like i've been showing you guys my eyebrows but i haven't been seeing like my difference so maybe like when a proper scab falls off my face and i'm like okay yeah yeah this is you know then i'll be back to show you guys but today is day nine and hopefully before day 14 like this one is already trying to come out this one here really trying to come out and i don't want to pull it out but yeah so hopefully before day 14 i can properly um you know i can see a major difference on my eyebrows hi guys so today is day 11 of my brows so let me zoom in for you guys to see um so you guys can see that this part is falling off it fell off overnight and i woke up i saw that i saw it on my pillow and then this part wants to come off i'm going to church now and i think i'm just gonna pull it out because it's, it's literally just hanging onto something so i'm just gonna pull it out because i don't want anything dangling and when i get to church today i'm just gonna use a face cap so you guys can see that the shape is there but it's ashy i know this part that it will it might look ashy already and then this part wants to come off you guys can see as, I, as i'm pushing it literally everything here wants to come off but i can't touch it so that's my brows right now and uh yeah so hopefully by day before day 14 i'm sure before day 14 everything will probably be uh, falling out but um this is how it's looking right now hi guys long time no speak today is day 18 so i've been in a funk and i've not really been in the mood to like show like just come out but on day 14 all my like literally most of the scabs fell off um i'm going to show you these scabs in a bit but literally most of the scabs fell off and this was what my eyebrows are looking like right now today's day 18 and i felt like the eyebrows were going to be like way lighter but it's actually not like i don't it's yeah it's quite nice it's all right and stuff and i felt felt like she kind of shaved off too much of my eyebrows um my hair which i don't like but apart from that everything is fine i guess so today's day 18 maybe on day 31 or maybe day 13 i'll come back with day 28 because i feel like it's supposed to be like day 28 that's when it's properly like huge and stuff so i will come back on day 28 to show you guys um what my brows are looking like but so far this is what they're looking like right now so which yeah i like it i like it i mean it does look drawn and this is combination brows just in case um but yeah so i will come back on day 31 with 30 or 28 and then show you guys if anything has changed so yeah bye guys hi guys welcome back to the vlog guys it's been ages okay so today is 10th of november um i got my eyebrow eyebrows microbladed i got my eyebrows microbladed on the on the 1st of september so it's two months and um eight days and guys this is what my brows are looking like let me zoom in for you guys okay let me let me just zoom in for you guys so this is what my eyebrows are looking like guys honestly these eyebrows are a lifesaver like guys mm, i just go out no makeup nothing like this is the best beauty decision that i made this year for sure like the best beauty decision i made at first i was really scared i didn't know what to expect and the aftercare as well and especially when i had reaction to it like i messaged her and she was like that you know everyone's you know skin type is different everyone's healing process is different so obviously my skin type i'm reacting and where it took like people like seven days three days for scabbing mine took like 14 days literally for everything to fall off it took 14 days she told me that i could wash my face after the third day but i didn't wash my face till like the 10th day and at that point like majority of the brows were already falling off the scabbing was already falling off it was a bit ashy for and a bit like purplish you know grayish for like two days and after a while it became i thought like it was supposed to be like going to be light but guys this is how it is like you know 
I think she'd probably use like black ink for me for my brows. I don't know, maybe to be more pronounced, but I would have preferred brown, like you know, a very dark brown. I don't know what color she used, but yeah. So, anyways, this is what my brows are looking like. And guys, if you need to do your eyebrows, honestly, she's the best that I've seen. And the way my brows look, you know, perfect. Well, not hundred percent perfect. Brows are sisters, not twins. Okay, so I would you know ask you to go to her. She's based in Surule, Ray, Lagos and stuff. And obviously, I went from Ibadan to Lagos to get my brows microbladed, guys. I had to, you know, plug in my power bank so I'll be able to use, you know, to charge my camera and then talk to you guys because my battery is low. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys my brows and the end result. So this is obviously like after two months, this is what my brows are looking like and stuff. So yeah, um, you guys will be seeing my updates on my brows, maybe like in other videos maybe after like six months to show you guys what it looks like for reference I, I have oily skin and i did combination brows so that's like shading and you know striking in front and stuff but yeah so when you go to her she knows what your what kind of brows you would need and yeah so guys please don't forget to like this video subscribe and click notification bell and um yeah so i'll speak to you guys in my next video and yeah bye Take this over, boy. You don't need no